वॉट इज जे एस एक्स इन रिएक्ट वेलकम टू कोडिंग लॉकर गाइज दिस इज चंद्रश्वरियानी एंड इन टूडे इज पार्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज जे एस एक्स हाउ रियक्ट अंडर द हुक वर्क ऑन दी एस टी एल विच वी हैव सीन इन आर एप कम्पोनेंट राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज दी एप कम्पो बेसिकली इन द पार्ट वन वी एक्चुअली क्रिएटेड अ सिंपल हेलो वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन कॉन्फिगर आर विंडो सिस्टम इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट द रियक्ट एप्लीकेशन राइट नाउ दिस इज द पार्ट सेकेंड वे विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस सिंटेक्स सो दैट दिस स्पेशल सिंटेक्स विच सीम्स टू बी लाइक एन एस टी एम एल टू यू दैट बेसिकली जेस एक्स जे एस एक्स विच इज रिटर्न इन टू दी जे एस फाइल नाउ हाउ इट वर्क बिहाइंड द सीन्स आई एक्सप्लेन इन दिस पार्ट सो लेट मी कमेंट आउट और बिफोर आई कमेंट uh let me show you uh here in the browser as well so you can see we have right now simple div which has a class app then we have h1 tag and some text written here right that is what we are returning from here so instead of this what uh, react is uh, doing behind the scene so first of all make sure you import react right now next react uh, okay at first you need to return react dot create element okay now which element do you want to create you have to define here so i want to create a div and basically you do not need to provide that exact syntax so just div should be fine then here is your null uh, next parameter keep it null as of now then what next i want h1 okay next what i want this text to be printed in the h1 right that is all i need now put a semicolon press control s now let it compile it will compile and after that we will have some output to the browser let's see what we have we have something but this is not what we were seeing earlier so let me press f12 once again just ignore this warning maybe f5 would fix this because yeah that's fine now see we have the div but we do not have the class also we do not have this h1 rather this h1 element is treated as a string here so first thing is the second parameter which i said is the it takes the object in what you can return the class name and to do so simply write class name and then uh, which class then the name of the class control s and see do we have some improvement in the output or not so it is compiling it will take two or three sometimes more than yeah we have class applied that is in the center but still we have this h1 which is a string we need to convert this as well so what how react is converting again this instead of this h1 we are uh, uh, we are creating another element so react dot create element which element the element is h1 what is the next parameter we all know now keep it null and then what is the uh, value i want this value to be printed control x control v again press control s and let it compile so once compilation is done we should see again some improvement in the output we have so this is the exactly what we were seeing earlier without this syntax so how uh, jsx how actually react converts this jsx into this like this so we cannot write this complicated syntax right and that is why we write this and that is way we going to write further so that's all uh, for today uh, today's video if you guys have any doubt or any query you can always text me in the description uh, the code is always available to the github location you can always uh, get the code and uh, uh, thank you for being at coding locker uh, have a nice day bye